Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another Grasslands Mini Zoo episode. And in the previous episode, we did build this really cool caracal habitat. What is all this litter doing right over here? Oh my freaking goodness. Okay, wait a second. Do we, how much staff do we have for that? We have two caretakers. You're not doing a really good job though. Maybe we should just train them. I was actually thinking to train some more staff. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to train these two. I'm going to train you, the mechanic. And I'm going to train all the vendors because I do feel like I, I had some sad faces right over here. But quickly, before we continue, I would like to thank our great sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. Because at Instant Gaming, you can get a really good discount on many of your favorite games like Planet Zoo, The Sims, Jurassic World Evolution, Farming Simulator, City Skylines, and so many other great games. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel and in case you didn't know every month we also organize a really cool giveaway where you can win a game dlc or a gift card of your choice i will make sure to put a link to their website and the giveaway in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it and i think it was her but it doesn't look like it right now but <laughs> look at them all jump <laughs> from one side to the other but I, I think it's going to be fine. I think if we train these guys, they will be a little bit more productive. And hopefully these caretakers... Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to hire one more. I really, really can't handle this. Can I right away train you as well? Uh, fa the 5th of January. Oh, that's almost, though, but... You are now cleaning this up, so I guess this is alright. Wait, you know what? We actually probably don't have any bins. There's like this, this bin right over here. <laughs> A little bit lost. Maybe we should just add one more bin at the backside right over here. And one over here, something like that. Oh, wait, there are, <laughs> there are bins like everywhere right over here. That, uh, wait, I'm going to move that one to this corner right over here. Okay, so yeah, we have a lot of work to do still, but uh, you guys were really excited about this Caracal Habitat. So thank you for that. Really, really am happy to see you guys are so enthusiastic about this new series as much as I did. Wait, do we have... Oh, yes, we need money. Thousand, thousand, give me that money. So uh, in the previous episode, we spoke about like this, this new... Animal visibility, a predicted area visibility. And a few of you did say, like, isn't that for what the animals can see and how stressed they get? But I, I, I'm not really sure. I think it is the predicted area visibility for the guests. So we need to select the gate right over here. And I was mentioning, like, I, I can't see anything here. And then some of you did mention like, yeah, but it could be that maybe the floor is in the way of the predicted visibility. So if I now click this, hmm. So there is now no path here and it still doesn't seem to work. So on the outside right over here, there is like this, this blue color, but it's just barely sh like if you look from here, you actually see a little bit of blue, but if you're, if you're walking right over here, you can barely tell. Maybe, maybe it's just hidden underneath here. I really don't know. It's so odd. It really is super odd to me that this doesn't work, but it is what it is. I'm just not going to change this. I mean, I just love this area way too much to not do that. Um, oh yeah, we need to talk about these guys. I'm going to remove them. Um, there was someone that mentioned, like, maybe if you put them behind the decals, but mm, no, 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 I'm just not happy enough with these guys. But we can do something with, like, education and stuff right over here, because I also want to add, that is in facilities, I think, a webcam in here, because that's also going to help 
with our marketing rating, I'm going to align you to surface. I'm going to add one right over here. And what I want to do is I just want to record this webcam because the webcams cannot be connected to, to any, any signs, but the, uh, the bureaus can, but the bureaus are, are glitching. So they also don't work very well. So now the only thing is like the art farks. Let's, let's have a quick look right over here. Enter camera view. I think this is a nice viewing. If we just record this and hopefully with a caracal inside, then put this up in a billboard and then put like the video up to play. I think that is just a, just the best solution to do that. But like, I was thinking to do the same with the, uh, with the art for habitat, but, <laughs> oh, huh? Wait, there was stuff sticking out. I am sure there was stuff sticking through and then I tried to remove it and then it didn't work. Wait, what? Did, is, has there been like a little update or something? Like maybe that they put the burrows lower into the ground or something like that? <gasps> I was about to check if you guys were already pregnant. But look at this little one. <gasps> you have such an adorable little face. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. Oh my goodness, we have a little baby. A little baby boy, Chabulani. Oh, that's amazing. Well, you know, actually, we can now... Oh, look at it. It's gonna play with the ball. No, but we can now actually also record a little bit of footage of the burrow right over here and then add some, some educational signs here and then connect, like, the footage of it because, it, yeah, well, the connection is not entirely working. So that is how we can do that. So how is the space doing right over here with the art farks? Okay, ooh, it's a little bit orange. But if this is it, then we're not going to see any protesters. They are... Um, yeah, okay, it's 66%. Is there anything else that... Oh, the last meal quality. We are... Are we already doing the research? And how far are we if we, if we are? Okay, oh, perfect. You are done. Okay, now we need to do research for both the caracal and the art fork. So as long as we don't have to research, we cannot upgrade the food for the art forks. You can tell that it's been so long since I added the art forks. Like, I, I don't think I ever added them in franchise mode. So that means that is why we did not do any research. Like the caracal's new or newer. So um, it makes more sense. But, oh man, this little one. I'm so excited! I'm so happy. How much is your appeal? 3,750. Okay, but I barely see any guests here. But that's a good thing. Like, all the guests are now spreading out already right over here. So it's not, oh, not super busy. We really need more gift shops. It's so busy. We are probably missing out on income. So if we want to build like a gift shop right over here, then we can probably, how is the information? Information is not super busy. So I think what we should do is just add another gift shop right over here. Should, should we add like the, the same one or shall we add the, well, it is really busy with this one. Can I just copy you? Split from group. Can I select you? Oh gosh, okay. The, the vendor just got removed. So if I now, oh, actually, I don't have to connect it to a path, do we? Because I want to move this one later on, but I don't want to ruin the path connection. So now if I just hire another vendor, that is one over here. Are you going to, yes, perfect. You see, you don't have to connect these, these, uh, these little counters in order to make it work. So this should help. I do want to check if I did change any prizes. I don't think I did, actually. Maybe we should. Maybe we should make this all 16, this 11, 26, and 51, and then synchronize, something like that. We can actually do the same right over here, the audio guide, make it a 3, 11, 26, 51. And then we, oh, we have umbrellas. Let's make them six. I mean, it's so extra income, isn't it? We can't just do that. 
Okay, synchronize that. We can also do the same with like eyes and stuff or, or, or food. So let's have a quick look at the shops here as well. We have a pip shop juice. Do we have a pip shop juice there as well? I think so. Okay, so if we synchronize these and then we're going to add like ice and fruit pieces that is going to cause... Let, okay, let's make this a six. Let's make that a six and then we're going to add these to it. And then that one to six as well. We are synchronizing it. So both shops are now earning a little bit more income. And then right over here, we have the chief beef. So what can we add? We can add like a lot of stuff to it, but it's also going to cost us a lot. So this is like 80, 150, uh, uh, 220, 260. Uh, let's make this a 15 then maybe. Is that good? Okay, that is 15, and let's make this an 11 with all lots of stuff. Lots of cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Okay, so we're going to synchronize that. I have no idea if people are going to complain about that. Um, wait, wait, I'm right apart. I need a drink. Uh, I'm okay paying that much for toilet block. Oh, yes, that's right. We're also asking a little bit of money. For the toilet block, did anyone already use this? Uh, wait, where are the customers? Number of customers is period. Okay, there are people using that. Can we actually raise the prices here? I'm not really sure if we can. Maybe if we have some, some kittens of the caracals. Wait, did I? No, this is good. So yeah, we have a lot of work to do right over here. So um, I feel like we should just start working on that. We have all the genders in the exhibits, right? Just a little double check before we jump into that. Okay, yes, we have a few in here. We have a few. Yes, okay, that's all right. I like we have the management set up. So I think one of these can only handle like two adults in it. So it will sell everything above that. And the rest is like four and then we'll sell everything above that. So this will all manage itself and, and will be sold. So we will get some cash of these exhibits now, which is just an extra bit of income. So I feel like without further talking, we should just go and, and finish this area up. Maybe also start onto the exhibit area and also make a make a start of the... Uh, oh goodness, what are you doing here? <gasps> Why? What? Wait, 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 you're thirsty. You're pretty much stuck here all the time. Not really sure what that is all about. The other caracal is walking around here. So maybe if I just move you, everything should be all right. I mean, we have right over here, we have an accessible water troll with a lot of water in it. You are not dehydrated. So um, should we just move you? Like if you're not going to drink, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. You're going to sleep. Gosh, can you please go and have a drink before you die? Not entirely sure why you're not going to have a drink. Maybe I should just move you to quarantine. Oh, wait, I can call a vet for you to bring you to quarantine. I, I think we should do that. <laughs> God, no! We actually have protesters in our zoo. You're kidding me. Because of that, well, there is water. Well, this is not me to blame. Stupid protesters. Stop it. No, it's uh, it's not me to blame, but I, I understand that they're here. You are going to bring quarantine. Right, okay. I think, I think this is going to be fine, but hopefully these protesters will go away very soon because we obviously don't want to have an inspector walking around here. And seeing these protesters and, and finding us from that. Oh, let's have a quick look right over here. The zoo overview. Okay, marketing is really low. But maybe we can also add like this, this webcam right over here in the artwork habitat. I mean, the more the better, right? So maybe if we just add one right over here. The guests cannot see this room from the outside. But I think this is a nice spot to also add a little webcam in here. You see? Oh, I love this viewing, actually. This is just perfect. Also notice the rain from the roof. Oh, man. Yes, this is this is just awesome. Okay, I need to change the names of these webcams very soon as well. But 
Without further talking, let's just go and start working on this area to make it look nice and beautiful. We have uh, almost 20k, so I think we are able to do that. Let's do it.
gosh, building in a zoo is taking a lot longer than I thought. But as I mentioned, like I don't want to rush anything. So we just keep going at this speed as long as I am enjoying myself and I want to keep adding details and stuff. So right over here, we have the outdoor area for the caracal. And I actually started with these glass windows on the other side, if you have seen the speed build. And later on, I thought, you know what? I'm actually going to expand it. So all the viewing galleries now do have these glass windows looking into this caracal habitat. And because the caracal like needs a lot of climbing frames and stuff, I really tried to add like these, these wooden platforms and like a lot of these logs and stuff just to make sure that like the climbable bull, traversable area is calculated like and is enough because that is also always an issue when you are building and you don't have enough climbing frames. It's super frustrating. So yeah, we now have plenty of it actually. Can't find an accessible staff room. Oh gosh, we need to take care of that. Now, one thing that did happen was my money went up super slow at some point. So I really had to change some things like we don't really have that much here to earn money from. So I did raise the prices of a few of these shops and like one dollar to the entrance just to make sure that we were earning a little tiny tap more. Oh, this shout out to uh, Caesar Creates. I saw a picture of him of, of like a creation of him on Twitter and Oh man, I just really love the stone wall. So I totally stole that from you, Caesar. <laughs> Thank you so much for that idea. Absolutely love it. So right over here, we go around. Like we, we have some planters around here, obviously. Do we have? It always feels like there is uh, like an animal escaping, but that's not the case. So we don't have to worry about that. So we have a lot of plants here. And then we have another viewing gallery inside of. Ooh, holy cow, that was a really high jump. Uh, like a water section here for the caracal. Now, if I just click the caracal right over here and just... Oh, yes, we have a negative impact, but that's that's not going to be a big problem. But yeah, they can walk through here, right over here. They can walk over these rocks and stuff. So I really try to make sure that they still have enough space. Like, we have more than enough space for two adults, but as soon as they get, like, offspring we could be getting into some issues, but that really depends how much offspring they get. And as you can see right over here, the climbing area is perfectly fine. I did use a lot of coverage here, but as we are playing on medium heart mode, I don't really think that's an issue at all. So uh, we have a 94% welfare, so that is perfectly fine. We do need to do some research for the caracal. So now that we're at it, maybe just check the research right over here. Uh, okay, we're almost done with the Arfark, so then we can move over to the Caracal, or shall we already just put you onto the Caracal and then just finish the Arfark later on? Because I do think that we can already, let's see, if we just go here, and can we then put the, yes, okay, we already have a grade 3 food, so that is going to help with the welfare of the Arfarks. Uh, so let me just quickly show the rest of this habitat. So yeah, we have three glass windows on the side right over here. And this path is going... Uh, well, this, this one is not really going down, but it is a little bit more wobbly. This path is going down a little tiny bit. Just to play around a little bit with different height elevations and such. Look at this. Look at the lighting. Isn't that beautiful with that tree? Is it going to rain though? No, it's not. Okay, so we're right over here we have like an enrichment item and we have a, a box here for them to play with. So oh, I'm really happy with how this one looks, but it did take a lot of time to especially make sure that they are able to like climb up onto all these rocks and stuff. So I really wanted to make sure that everything was working properly and we're not like losing too much space right over here. So it does work really well. Right over here, we have a little cave. I did keep this open, and that is purely because I'm not entirely sure how we're going to fill this all up, but maybe I want to have like this, this little path right over here just to have a little peek through inside of this cave. But maybe we're, we're not going to do anything with it, but I'm not entirely sure. So, okay, let's go to the backstage area because, oh my goodness, we did 
a really awesome community zoo tour、uh, last week. Tambury City Zoo from HB. You. Gotta see that one. It has so many really cool backstage areas, and just in general, like, oh wow, the realism in that zoo is just insane. That zoo is just so inspiring for me. So I definitely got inspired for our backstage area. So let's go through here. <laughs> Gosh, look at a caracal jump.、Uh, so okay, it's not perfect, okay, but. I, I did try to to like make this look a little bit better. Oh, there is a caracal walking there. So the guest can have a little peek here into the backstage area from here. Only like the tunnel that goes under the path right over here. So if we go right over here, so this the fencing and like the frames and stuff, I definitely like not exactly, but I definitely got inspired of the of that Tamreed City Zoo because it's so so freaking amazing. And right over here is the same, like with the double areas, like. I thought we had that space, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that. We might want to add like a little, a few climbing frames here and there. Like, they should be able in real life to like close this gate off, close that gate off if they want to. So I actually maybe should also make a walkway like this, so like you could put the caracal in here. And then the keeper would be able to go into the habitat to like like do some 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 cleaning or anything like that. But I don't know. For now, we're just going to keep it. I added a, like a little keeper hut right over here because I thought like this is just a perfect space for it. You have some lighting from the roofs also as well right over here, just because it just really gives that extra part of of realism and lighting into the habitat. I mean, look at this. Doesn't this look just super beautiful? Even though it's like a, an empty area, but it does look super well, in my opinion.、Uh, I did add some some few backstage stuff right over here. wasn't quite sure what else to add, so we have a door right over here. But、uh, yeah, as you can tell, it really needs to be connected. We have, oh goodness, okay. Oh, we don't have the everything work roster anymore. Okay, I I, I really need to get used to that. What I do want to add is, like, we have a caracal habitat work roster right over here. I want to add this one in there because this one is is obviously more close by. Now they are complaining about a staff room, so I do think that maybe we should just add、uh, the staff room small somewhere over here, and. and We're going. I think I'm going to add it right in here in this little、uh, little grid, so we can have another one right over here. Can we connect this? Yes. Okay, that should be working fine. So we don't have any issues anymore with that. How about the negative impact? Like, how far does that? Oh, that's totally fine. So we're not going to have any issues here with the exhibits and this this. One building right over here, so that is going to be fine. And now our staff should not be complaining about that. Oh, that's right. I also got a message.、Uh, we don't have security in our zoo, so we definitely need to get at least one to make sure that we don't get any pickpockets. Because I think if I go to the zoo overview and to crime. How was that going? Pickpocket victims was three last year, twenty three. So, oh, that's definitely an issue. Oh yeah, talking about money, I have to take a loan again. <laughs> I keep getting loans and repaying them. Also, one of the reasons why I just didn't continue because, as you can tell, money is going up really slow. <gasps> about to have offspring? You kidding? We're already getting some offspring here. Some cute kittens. Oh, that's gonna be amazing! Look how cool. This also took quite some time. I will try to to upload as much as I can from all all my habitats.、Uh, there's a、uh, like a this this collection list in the description of this video. So definitely go and check that one out every once in a while if you want to use some things. But I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this because this building is not finished yet. But I also did just upload that one, even though the building is not finished. So you can either choose to like use that building and and make it your own or something, and and then maybe 
when everything is done, maybe I should just blueprint like the whole entrance area or something. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Like, should I actually upload these kind of things? Because I would love to share things with you guys, but some things are just maybe a little bit too complicated. Like, I have no idea if anyone used that like huge habitat building with like four or five habitats in it from like the African mini zoo with the lions and the lemurs and warthogs, bungos, nyalas. Oh my goodness, look at these kittens. <gasps> Let me know if you did because I, then I know if it's worth it to to upload like these, these bigger type of buildings. If like no one is using it, like maybe I should just avoid doing that and just make upload like parts of it. Oh my freaking goodness. Look at these little ones! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so cute! Oh! Oh! Oh, I love this. Okay. <laughs> I love this animation so much. I know that a lot of cats in the game have the same animation, but it's just so adorable. So how is... What? What? 2000? 2000? That can't be right. Oh, goodness. <gasps> What? What? Are you able to get there as well? No, only the little ones. Oh gosh, how am I going to figure that out? It's gotta be somewhere over here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I have some work to do to fix that. Oh my goodness. I Although I do feel like it, it's probably somewhere over here. They might be able to, to jump onto the roof or something like that. But, oh, goodness, we have to figure out how that is going <laughs> and where they're able to jump up on there. Okay, but the space is totally fine for, for the adults as well. So, at least for two kittens and two adults, everything is perfectly fine. Oh, look, there's another one. <laughs> Look how beautiful this one looks, by the way. I can't get over it. You are so pretty, but I think these kittens are probably one of the cutest baby animals of the game. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy with these guys. So yeah, we're going to wrap it up right over here. But do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of this uh, caracal habitat, the outdoor area, and the backstage area, of course. We, we do need to add, like, uh, oh, gosh, it's so busy here. We do need to add some, some educational signs right over here still. So so we are definitely getting back here, but we are definitely not finished yet with this build. I, I don't know what's sticking through here. I need to, to fix that as well. But yeah, <laughs> these little things we will adjust along the way once we're going to do the exhibits and all the other things. But, oh man, I am so happy with this habitat it's so cool so yeah leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already yeah i just really do hope to see you guys on the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys